What is the very first thing you do in the morning when you wake up? Do you brush your teeth, go to the toilet, or do you perhaps have a cold shower? Well, in this video, what I'm gonna do is actually outline what most people do in the mornings, which could potentially be sabotaging their health without them even realizing. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Boost Your Biology. If you've been enjoying these videos, then please hit that like button and hit subscribe down below to stay up to date with the latest and greatest health research. So a number of individuals have asked me what I do first thing in the morning to start my day, to maximize my energy and to enhance focus. And so what I've recently started doing is actually, as soon as I wake up, before I drink any liquids, is that I make sure that I do my oil pulling. And that is that I'm using coconut oil, putting it into my mouth, swirling it around for about 10 minutes or so, which kills off any bad bacteria in the mouth and actually helps with oral health in general. So that's the very first thing that I do. However, I did go through a phase where I was making this critical mistake and that was actually drinking cold water as the very first beverage that I would introduce into my body. And I wanna emphasize that drinking cold water as the very first beverage in the morning is actually the worst thing you can do for your health. And specifically, I'll focus in on how this can perturb and affect digestion and various other parameters of health. So you may be wondering now, like why is drinking cold water so bad in the morning? Well, actually drinking cold water can potentially exacerbate symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome. And this is a, a common complaint that I get from a number of my clients is that they complain of um, bloating, constipation, diarrhea, gas, nausea, loss of appetite. And this is due to a variety of reasons. Cold water first thing in the morning is actually very bad for digestion. And specifically, if we look at the temperature sensitivity element, the digestive system is sensitive to temperature changes. And cold water can actually shock the digestive system, causing the muscles in the gastrointestinal tract to contract abruptly. Now, this sudden change in muscle activity can then trigger or worsen symptoms of IBS, such as cramping, bloating, and diarrhea, particularly in individuals who are already prone to these symptoms. In addition to that, drinking very cold water first thing in the morning can have a negative effect on digestion and cold water can actually slow down the digestive process. Now, when you drink cold water, your body expends energy to warm it up to match your core body temperature, which means that it's diverting resources away from the digestion process. This can lead to delayed emptying of the stomach and slower movement of food through the intestines which may worsen symptoms in, I, in people with IBS, particularly with those in those individuals with motility issues. If you're someone that's been trialing different supplements and you're still lacking that energy, spark, drive, and overall vitality, then you may wanna check out my brand new supplement that I've just released called Katwa Pure. Katwa Pure harnesses the power of a particular Amazonian herb known as Katwaba bark, which has been used for centuries to boost mood, enhance energy levels, and act as an aphrodisiac. So definitely check out Katwa Pure. You can learn more by visiting inbeforesups.com. In addition to that, drinking cold water can affect vasodilation. Now, cold water can cause the blood vessels in the gastrointestinal tract to constrict, which is known as vasoconstriction, initially followed by dilation as the body attempts to regulate temperature. Now, this fluctuation in blood flow can potentially worsen inflammation, increase gut sensitivity in, indiv in individuals with IBS, leading to heightened discomfort and symptoms. And then in addition to that, it can be a trigger for nerve sensitivity. So some individuals with IBS have heightened sensitivity of the nerves in their gastrointestinal tract, and drinking cold water can potentially trigger these nerves, leading to increased pain and discomfort. So I actually want to ask you guys now, are you someone that drinks very cold water the first thing in the morning? Are you, or are you someone who drinks cold water with your meals? Because that is also another time in which you should not be drinking cold water. Definitely do not drink cold water with your meals. That is highly, highly dangerous and not useful for your digestive process. 
And so what does it boil down to? Well, I recommend starting your morning with warm slash hot filtered water and ideally with a pinch of Himalayan sea salt or Redmond real salt. And this should be done before any foods. So that is, you. Should, so do not go to your tap and just use tap water unless you've got an expensive uh, water filtration system where you're filtering out the fluoride and other toxins in your tap water. Um, and yes, you can definitely take your supplements with this first beverage in the morning. Now, this obviously depends upon which supplements we're talking about. For example, vitamin D should not be taken as the very first thing in the morning without any food. You should wait until you eat some food. Some pretty interesting studies on the negative effects of cold water ex uh, exposure and intake. So this study here was titled, Visceral Hypersensitivity Following Cold Water Intake in Subjects with Irritable Bowel Syndrome. And after drinking cold water, the perception thresholds in IBS patients and the defecation thresholds in diarrhea predominant IBS patients were further decreased. The other really big caution is to avoid drinking with meals. Now, if anyone has ever studied traditional Chinese medicine or Ayurvedic medicine, from a traditional Chinese medicine perspective or TCM perspective, hydration is considered crucial for maintaining optimal health and balance in the body. However, they have differing opinions about drinking water with meals. Now, they say drinking warm water between meals is ideal. And on the other hand, large amounts of water and fluids before and during a meal are considered detrimental as they thin out the acids and enzymes, rendering them less effective in breaking down food. In the Ayurvedic practice and Ayurvedic perspective, in Ayurveda, an ancient Indian system of medicine, warm water is often recommended for improving digestion and overall health. Now, according to Ayurvedic principles, Warm water helps to stimulate the digestive fire, Agni, and then aids in the removal of toxins, Ama, from the body and balances the doshas, biological energies. Now, while Ayurvedic practices are often based on traditional knowledge rather than modern scientific research, many people find benefits from incorporating Ayurvedic principles into their lifestyle. So I would love to hear from you. Have you personally noticed that drinking cold water either between meals or with your meals has been detrimental to your digestive system? Are you someone that you know deliberately wants to avoid drinking from the tap as well? Or are you someone that wants to make sure you, your water is filtered as best as possible? And perhaps you're someone who starts their day drinking super cold water from the tap or you even add ice to your water and you've made the switch to warm water or drinking like boiled water, boiled filtered water. And have you noticed any differences in your digestive system, bloating, gas, diarrhea, and any other gut related issues? If you have, leave a comment down below. Let's get a discussion going. But ultimately, I just wanted to share that this has been a, a game changer for my own um, slight bloating that I might get sometimes in the morning. It does definitely help to stimulate a bowel movement. So, you know, if you're struggling with like constipation or you can't actually, you know, get going in the morning to, to release your stool, um, then drinking, you know, warm water can actually be a, a slight stimulant in that regard. And particularly with some nice Himalayan salt or some um, Celtic sea salt or even Redmond real salt. So, I've started incorporating this into my morning routine as part of my ultimate energy and productivity stack. If you have any thoughts or questions, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.